everybody, my name is Chris. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I am today, I'm bringing you guys a brand new skate park. Today, I'm bringing you guys like a, I think I would consider this like a tropical abandoned DIY skate park, but the title of the video may or may not change. I literally just recorded this video and my face cam was not on, so mm, good times. But I'm gonna give you guys this video. And also, you may notice there's hammering. There's literally people working on my roof right now. So I apologize that that'll be in the background of the video. And of course, literally as soon as I'm recording this video, legitimately, when I was recording actually before this video, they weren't working right over here. I swear they're working like literally right over my room right now. So that is awesome. But anyways, besides the point. This park actually was uh, really fun to make. I made this yesterday in a live stream and it was suggested by one of you guys to build like a tropical, I don't even know if tropical, they made like an island skate park and I was like, let's do something on an island. And you may say, this doesn't really look like an island, which I totally get that because it's kind of hard to do that in this game, but it technically kind of looks like one a pen peninsula. You know, it doesn't help that you have to add these trees around it because if you don't, it just, you're looking in a back lot. It doesn't really sell the effect effect is good so now it looks more like a swamp i guess i don't know that's what somebody said but the grant the sand itself actually turned out pretty good this is all this is just normal ramps that are turned to the factory setting turned brown that's about it you know just a, the danny way to wine dream gives you some tropical um foliage so i was able to use that you know the palm trees um i think that helps what sells it and also the rocks too um somebody was really adamant about having rocks in this park so i think that definitely sells the effect but the whole theme or backstory to this park um if you want to get a backstory to a virtual skate park but um my the story that i have behind it is that it was like somebody that was um trying to build you know like their mansion on you know um beachfront property essentially and they like ran went bankrupt or something and while they were building it so they only have the foundation and some pillars and that's about it they just laid the concrete and then just left everything and then people were like yo let's just make a diy so that's what the theory behind the park is if that makes well, not theory but the idea behind it and so um it's a pretty basic diy park slash there's actually a really good amount of flow surprisingly for a diy park because normally it would just be a, a bunch of stuff randomly set up and like you don't hit a quarter pipe going back and forth but i do have that so um, the main section is this, um, we have like a gap, which it's not super tall, but we have some stairs, a Euro gap, some, some trash, we have a bent pole rail, and these things are probably my favorite, which is these pillars, which are just made out of catwalk supports, and there's four made into a prism, turned into the factory setting, and it looks like concrete. And I decided to put one like in the ground where it looks like this thing just like fell and it's actually a skatable edge. So let's try to skate it and it is decently skatable. It's not the most easy thing, but I, I don't mind that there's a little bit of a challenge. I mean, well, you can do 50-50, so it's supposed to be kind of awkward, but I, that's what I like about it. It's not a perfect ledge. I'm trying to get like a kickflip back tail. It does not like the back tails for some reason. So, you know, you can, it is what it is. I think that's really cool. Uh, we have this, uh, what is this? They call this the Canadian barrier, but it's actually skates really good. Like I love these and it was like perfect right there to continue the flow, just a basic factory ledge. That was an interesting trick. Um, the bent pole, uh, down rail. Um, this is actually made from the factories uh, for the catwalk supports. That's about, that's really all these are made out of. And this is just a branding like flag that just put in the ground with some waterfront ledges put into it. Very easy. The next thing over here is this wall ride that you guys suggested. A lot of you guys like when I add wall rides and it actually works out really good because you have this waterfront ledge and it just is like the perfect concrete angled it off a little bit. You can do these easily wall rides into kick flips out. I don't know, do something a little bit different. And it kind of just gives the whole aesthetic that there is a concrete barrier up there. And then also, if you notice, I was, I try to skate back over there and exemplifying the, uh, flow to the park is that I've put up here. It felt actually pretty empty. And what I did is I started to throw these, um, these are just catwalk supports and it's kind of just like, you know, framing for if you were going to build a wall there and it just helps. I don't know. Just, it looks a lot nicer and it goes with the aesthetic of the park and it came out really good. Um, the next thing is these are actually those brewery things that like not many people use, but if you flip it over, you kind of have these really cool pipings and I put that in the middle and then this thing actually turned out to be perfect right here and you can literally skate it and we can try to get like um, a hand plant going across the entire thing 
and it, it actually like it literally works out perfect I love the way what those pipes are there it just makes it look like there's some plumbing that was left and obviously you know it's abandoned so that turned out really good we just have a movable rail right there and then the theory behind this palm tree is that it fell and like damaged the uh foundation but i couldn't really get that to look too good but i love the way that this pillar is angled up this way because you can skate it as a ledge or a ramp and that just looks really uh cool and fun to skate this is just like a roof that was you know it's in the middle of collapsing with some stop sign rails this would be like the rebar kind of similar to like the the broken bridge gap park that i made a while ago that would be what i'd consider to be um, quite similar to that so let's try to skate. So you can use this as either, it's weirdly like not grindable, but also grindable at the same time. Like you saw, I just used it as um, kind of more like a ramp right there, but I'm gonna try to see if I can skate this uh, or grind it. So you see, you can get like a kickflip back tail, like, or a back tail kickflip out. So you can have a lot of fun. I some I really like that. And again, this is just a basic ledge. And then we have a kicker going over this gap. And then a lot of stuff also helps with like the props that are just scattered around that help with the um, convince you that it's a DIY with like trash and everything. Oh, I love this like mani pad. I know it's like a small little thing, but something about that is really fun. Reminds me of like something like Noted Dirt would skate if you guys are familiar with uh, that person in the OG skate community. Skate over there, try to hit this barrier. See if we can skate this thing going the other way. Oh wow, that did a weird kickflip. And then try to skate this pillar. There we go. So overall for a DIY park or abandoned DIY, whatever you want to call it, it does have a pretty good amount of flow as like I built those quarter pipes there because they're supposed to be small and kind of awkward because it'd be, you know, just a, some, it's like if somebody just poured some concrete there. So that's why they're not the most perfect but they do grind and they don't let you hand plant and nor do they are they reliable on trying to get grinds or stalls on so like that's a thing but the euro gap really good and then you can i've been trying to do it where you can skate down this wouldn't be a grass gap i guess you could say it's a sand gap like you can actually skate going up it pretty easily i'm gonna see if i can do it true switch Oh, there we go. So I did a little sketchy, but I think that was my fault and messed up, messed up on a front side flip. Oh, an alley-oop. Oh, I wanted to do an alley-oop uh, 360 flip. Okay, we did, technically did it. I don't know why that acted so weird. hit the pipe but then if you can go up here so it's cool because you skate it like at least the way I, you caught the kickflip it was like right when you hit the top so for every reason it looks like it looks realistic so you see it's you can skate it but it's a uh, at least if you're trying to do like 360s it's, it's way more i think it's more difficult to do so There we go, there's our alley-oop. And we fail. Ooh, and I forgot one more thing. So I have this, this is kind of like inspired from like the Tony Hawk's American uh, Wasteland, the thing where you can skate off the Santa Monica Pier. So I just threw this in here. It kind of more just have to run and jump onto it, but I thought it's just something stupid, but at the same time though, like you wouldn't see that and like expect it. So I tried to, I threw um, a catwalk rail in there, but for a reason now it's not letting me skate it. Like I did it before I was recording and now all of a sudden it's like not grinding well, but you can technically grind all the way out, uh, out of the uh, skate park if you want. I don't know, I just thought it was kind of a little fun thing that you wouldn't really expect. At least I wouldn't add that in my parks normally. Oh, there we go. We got the kickflip nose blunt. All right. I think. I gotta end it on a good note there with one more. Oh, I wanted to do like a 
Oh, I should have I should have done a better line. All right. Well, anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want me to do like an open lobby for this park, let me know down below in the comments, and I will be I'm gonna be trying to be live streaming more. So be on the lookout for that, and that'll also give you another reason if you wanted to get this park and you're on the 360 and you have a DLC. This does use actually quite a, a lot amount of DLC for it. But if you want to do it, make sure you have post notifications on. I don't spam too much, nor do I upload a crazy amount. So you guys will get notified when I do upload. And yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Please leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Anyways, my name is Chris. I'll see you all again soon. Peace.